Welcome. Thank you for lending an ear to the Voice of the Times for Wednesday, March 26, 2021. For today's editorial, government must increase efforts to boost LGU's financial management capacity. Within a few weeks, Congress will again convene for its next regular session, and as is the routine, at some point shortly after that, we'll begin deliberations on the next national budget for the year 2022. This budget will be more significant than most throughout the Philippines' history because it will be the first one under the full implementation of the so-called Mandanas Garcia ruling, the landmark Supreme Court decision that broadly expanded the share of national revenues given to local government units or LGUs. One initiative that must be a priority in that budget is financial and investment management capacity building for the LGUs because as the time when the government must give them their internal revenue allotment or IRA windfall quickly approaches, it is becoming clear that many LGUs are woefully unprepared to handle it properly. In 2018, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of a petition by Batangas Governor Hermelando Mandanas and former Bataan Governor Enrique Garcia Jr. deciding that the just share of the LGUs from national taxes is not limited to national internal revenue taxes collected by the Bureau of Internal Revenue but also includes collections from customs duties by the Bureau of Customs and other sources. The ruling was reaffirmed in 2019, giving the government until 2022 to fully implement it. According to data from the Department of Finance or DOF, this will result in an estimated $234.6 billion increase in the IRA for 2022 from about $848.4 billion to about $1.08 trillion. Accordingly, many things that are currently handled at the national government level will be devolved to LGUs, including some public services and investment in development projects. While most LGU leaders are eagerly anticipating being able to work with expanded financial resources, they also express a great deal of apprehension about having sufficient human and knowledge resources to manage them to good effect. This was a theme that emerged during the recent investment forum on energy transition organized by the British Embassy Manila with the cooperation of the DOF and held online on May 20. The main subject of the forum was investment opportunities in renewable energy at the LGU level, with the subject matter experts presenting a vast amount of information on different types of sustainable projects and investment models that are, at least hypothetically, available to communities. Based on many of the questions that were being asked by local leaders attending the forum, however, what is clear is that while funds and more opportunities have been or are about to be transferred from the national government to LGUs, what has not been passed along is the know-how needed to deploy. LGUs have long relied on national agencies to oversee investment and development, even for relatively minor projects and have not needed to develop the required competence and organization. Now that they do need it, but except for some modest efforts in the form of seminars and workshops by individual agencies such as the Department of Agriculture or Department of Health, the local leaders have a real sense, which they are not shy about expressing, that they are being left on their own. The administration, which fought hard but ultimately unsuccessfully to defeat the Mandanas Garcia ruling, has approached its implementation with the perspective that the LGUs are, quote, taking something away from the national government. That must change. The national government must understand and accept that LGUs are partners in national development, not competitors, and that their success will only multiply that of national level policies and programs. Helping partners to work more effectively lightens one's own burdens and confers a share of the credit for any successes. Likewise, putting obstacles in the way of its LGU partners will simply make the national government's work more difficult and give it a just share of the blame for any failures. And that's the editorial for May 26, 2021. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to its digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. And listen to The Voice with the Times.